everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I wanted to sit down and make an Animal Crossing video just because the update came out and I am just obsessed again. I, I don't know how many hours I played the last couple of days, but it was a lot. It's like every waking non-child related second I was on this thing. I have my little switch here. I do also have the big switch, so I do have two islands. I haven't used the other one lately because um, the Joy-Cons, one of them, um, one of the buttons wasn't working, which was this one. So it makes it really hard to play the game. Also, the, the top button's not working. So we need to get some new Joy-Cons. I've just been putting it off because whenever anybody plays the big switch, they use the just remote control separate ones and they use the TV. And I don't want to play Animal Crossing on the TV. It's kind of big. Johnny would think I was nuts, like sitting in there with the little thing playing it for hours on end. But I will end up getting Joy-Cons at some point. So for now, I'm using the small switch with my original island and I'm just obsessed. So I love, love, love the new update. There are two parts of the update. One is just the in-game last major update that they're going to give. It offers Gyroids, Rooster's Coffee Bar Cafe place that's in the museum. And it also offers new island adventures where you tour with Cap'n the turtle, which he's super cute. You get on his boat at the dock and you can go one time a day. It does take Nook Miles. So now the Nook Miles are even more important than they were before. It also gives you farming and cooking, which is awesome. That's probably my favorite part of it, but I just love that you can go to these new islands every day. It is 1,000 Nook Miles versus a mystery island ticket is 2,000 Nook Miles. And I will be like throwing things up on the screen for you guys as well throughout this. And then part of the update is there are new characters. Isabel, the main little doggy in the beginning has new sayings now, so that's cool. And then there's also a bunch of new stuff with Harv's Island. You set up little shops on that. So you can unlock those and each one, basically each one costs 100 thousand bells so it is a more expensive thing also upgraded storage and a lot more nook shopping things so there is just tons i'm still overwhelmed i'm still working my way through it i haven't unlocked everything i haven't tried everything but it's just a lot of stuff and i've just really really liked the cooking i was able to find all of the new um, harvest sprouts so that i can make everything there's tomatoes there are potatoes there are carrots um, we already had pumpkins there is sugar cane, so you can make sugar and sweet things. And then the last one I got was wheat. And that pretty much is for most recipes. I feel like most recipes I've been getting have included a flour version. So whole wheat flour or regular flour, and you make those with wheat. And so I was really, really struggling to find this wheat and I finally found it on an island so I could harvest all of it on one of those cap and tour islands. So there are so many, so many cool things that I'm just discovering about the game and it's a whole brand new game again. But not only that, there is an additional update and I had seen people talking about this. They call it DLC and I am not a gamer. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is DLC? I don't know what this is. I, I don't see the update on here. I was just expecting it to like update. DLC is downloadable content, usually paid content. So the game, I think it costs $24.99 or if you have the um, online Nintendo subscription, you can have the expansion pack subscription and you get the game for free. So that's something to note. If you already have the family plan, you can add the expansion pack or if you already have the expansion pack subscription, you should be able to get the new game. So definitely look into that. I don't have any of that stuff. Just sign up for the regular membership again. I'm using the seven day free trial right now because I found I could not send things to my friends. And obviously without the membership, you can't go to other people's islands or anything. But I was really just wanting to send them gifts. And I was like, hmm, the regular plan old membership is $19.99 a year and if you have a family plan the regular old membership is $34.99 so if I'm going to go back to using both my islands I will need that family plan so after my seven day free trial I'll probably just do the $34.99 so I can use both of my islands again and travel and see my friends and stuff and I also kind of want to get involved in some of the online stuff as well again so I will probably need it for that anyway um, but anyway all that to say there is a whole new paid version, paid downloadable thing. It's just like an expansion pack. If you've ever played like The Sims, there's like The Sims and then there's a pets expansion pack and then there's a home something expansion pack. You buy the expansion pack separately and it improves your game. Well, this expansion pack is called Happy Home something or other and it is like a whole new island, you get whole new villagers, and it is awesome. Basically, it's kind of like The Sims. You design their homes, and that's mostly what you do on it. You don't have to like control the people or anything, but I really felt like it was really design-based. So if you really like that aspect of Animal Crossing, and you want to design 
the homes for lots of villagers. This is totally an awesome way to do it. And there are so many spots for characters. There are also more facilities you can unlock. So you can design a school. I've seen that you can design a cafe. It is like a whole new game all on its own. It has its own currency, it has its own items, and it's just huge and robust. And I was just so impressed with it. And I will eventually get that, but I'm still working my way through the new update. It's like shiny and new, and I'm really into the cooking and stuff. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get where I'm kind of bored with the stuff that I have, but right now it's so fun and I haven't even considered buying the other one yet. <laughs> I will at some point and it will make the game completely new again. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and gush about it. I just wanted to talk my way through a couple of the things that I've done. I'll show screen caps and things up on the screen. So far, one of my favorite things that I have gotten in the new thing is a peach pie. It is so, so cute. It's one of the things I just recently got and I showed it to my best friend. I was like, it's so cute. It's got a little like flower rosette type thing on the top made of peaches and it just looks so pretty. So I've been having a lot of fun cooking the food. Oh, another thing, another one of the big things in this new update, not the home, happy home stuff, the just regular old update. One of the Harv's Island, one of the shops is furniture customization and it's the llamas from the wedding. Way back in the day, one of the updates was this big wedding update and they customized some of the furniture for you when you earned some of the wedding furniture, but now you can unlock their part of Harv's Island and they will make anything custom for you, basically. Like anything that you would buy in the shop that you usually would have to wait for the other color to come around. You couldn't customize it yourself. Well, now you can take it to Harv's Island, give it to the llamas, they'll charge you some money and they can make it any color you want. So it's awesome. Now you can customize anything in the game pretty much. And I just love that feature. There are also some really, really cute, they're labeled in the Nook Miles shopping part. When you log in, you can get some of these new things. They're called plaza things. So that's like plaza merry-go-round, plaza balloon cart, plaza blow up or inflatable something or other. And they are these huge, awesome decorations. You get them in one colorway when you go to buy them from your Nook shopping. And I was really disappointed. Mine's like a green, grungy looking color. And I had seen this pastel, beautiful color. Well, guess what? You can take it to Harv's Island and have the llamas customize it for you in any of the colorways. So I was really excited I could use my own. I was thinking I would have to exchange Nook Miles with friends or other people to get the right color of these because before you would not be able to customize any of the Nook shopping things. So. It is a really cool thing. I've got the merry-go-round and the balloon cart so far, and I did take them and get them customized. So overall, it just makes the game all brand new again. I'm having so much fun with it. I do time travel, so I will probably skip through like two days each day if I'm playing because there's so much to do now that it takes me a lot longer to cycle through days, but I still will time travel when I get to the end of everything that I'm doing. So one of the other things I want to mention is the gyroids. I thought the gyroids were dumb. Like I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand that they're kind of ugly, like I don't get it. But once I got one of the fragments, so you go to the Cap'n Island, you can find a fragment. I think you find one fragment on each Cap'n Island, so you can get one a day. And then sometimes on your own island, you can also find fragments or full gyroids. So there are opportunities to get more than one a day. So you take the gyroid, you plant it in the ground, and then you water it, and it will have steam coming out of the little, like, crack in the ground and then the next day you can dig it up and it's a full gyroid and there are bunches of different ones of these they are also customizable you can just you can just take them to the workbench with the customization packs and change whatever colorway you want i have gotten a couple of repeat ones but they've come in different colors i haven't gotten one that's exactly the same yet but i have a lot <laughs> i have a lot of them so far and they're just really cute and quirky and weird and i at first thought I wasn't going to be interested at all, but I love them. Like, that's one of my first things I do is I go to the Cap'n Island, get my little fragment and plant it in the ground. And when I log into the game, it's the first thing I do is dig up my old fragment. <laughs> and they're just so cute and quirky. I haven't even like put them in the room to music or anything yet. I just look at them. I think they're cute where they like move around and each one's a little bit different. And I have gotten the same type, just different colors of them. So they're all unique and cute and I love them. And I just didn't expect to like this part of the game so much, but I do. It's really funny that 
they'll make their own little sound effects and things and the characters will come up and like look at them and dance with them and it's really really cute. They're called different things. There's like squeakoid, bongoid, like all these different little oid names and I don't know, something about it tickles me and I love it so much. One other little tidbit, if you go fishing, you sometimes get a new recipe as well. So it makes fishing exciting again. You need the fish for certain recipes and you also get new recipes when you fish. Also the message in a bottles, that's also new and exciting again because sometimes they have the food recipes in them now. And then also going and visiting your villagers in their house is now also exciting because not only can you get the regular DIY recipes, but sometimes they are cooking. So you can go ask them for their recipe that they're using and it makes it all fun. Basically they incorporated a bunch of new stuff that makes the entire game fun again and brand new again. And I'm just geeked out on it. I've been playing just a bunch and Johnny thinks it's so silly, but he'll see me playing and I leave the sound off because I'll usually be around my family, but I'll have the sound off and every once in a while I'll turn the sound on to fish and he thinks it's really funny. He'll hear the noises and stuff in the game at that point, but I just love it. Also, because you're going to the Cap'n Island, Nook Miles became important again. So I always go and check my Nook Miles Plus for those extra bonus point things. I also check the ABD every day to get those extra Nook Miles bonus points. It's just made the whole game new and exciting again. And I just, I don't know, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from their last major update. I just didn't expect it to affect the game as much as it did. I thought it would be, you know, a couple of cute things that we'd play for a minute and kind of get over, but I feel like the excitement of this will last quite a while because it involves every aspect of the game pretty much. And also there are a lot of new recipes. First of all, to find the recipes for, then you have to harvest all the ingredients or find all the ingredients for, and then you have to cook all of them. So that is a fun aspect to the game. You can also give your villagers the dishes, which is really cute. So I just totally geeked out about it. I wanted to just come on here and talk about it since it's exciting again. I do not have any sort of way to like stream it for you guys anymore because I was having a ton of trouble with the Elgato and I just ended up returning it and Johnny took the monitor that I was using and I just kind of gave up on that kind of thing. I'm just not a good streamer or anything, but I really wish I had a way to like show you some of the game now because I'm excited about it again. But unfortunately I don't. So I'll include, you know, pictures and things, but that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'll probably just sit down and geek out about it every once in a while. I like that I have the small one too that I could just kind of carry this one around the house. If the girls are playing upstairs, I could be kind of sitting there with them, but not having to really interact with them. Sometimes they flat out like tell me to go away way <laughs> they're like playing we're getting into that whole new stage where I don't have to be right there with Stella all the time and especially if the two girls are playing they will kick me out of the room and I can just go and relax and so I'll get on here I'll read I've been reading Game of Thrones again I'll also do a little chore here and there but mostly you know I just sit and relax and have a couple moments to myself which is always really pleasant and it's fun when I can squeeze in a couple of minutes of my game and enjoy that. Anyway, long rambly video, all Animal Crossing related. I hope you guys like and enjoy this video. It's a little bit different because I haven't talked about Animal Crossing in a while but I'm just obsessed again and had to share it with you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys are well and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!
So this is an island I have not gotten before. A winter snowy island. But you can catch snowflakes. I did get one where it was the spring petals and the message in a bottle was actually um, spring blossom related. Oh, I see the gyroid. Usually you still will need a ladder and possibly a pole, so I always bring them with me now. But anyway, look at this gyroid. Now I'll find my message in a bottle. Yep, so it's a ice winter related one, which is awesome. And sometimes they have unique fish, sometimes there's money rocks, money trees, lots of cool things to be seen on islands.